How you doing today, folks? I'm doing some equipment maintenance today. It's a rainy day, and I just ran out of grease in my grease gun. So I thought I'd just show you guys how I go about changing uh, the grease in a grease gun. And I'm going to show you how to use a cartridge. And the first thing I just want to mention is when I store my cartridges, I always store them with the, the part that you tear off on the bottom because it, it actually, you want the grease to settle in this direction. So what you're going to do to replace the, uh, the cartridge is you're going to grab your gun and just twist off. Let me think about this. Maybe we'll pull this back first. No, <laughs> that's tight. So we're going to just go ahead and twist this one off. Okay. And whether you have a lever or this style gun, it's going to be the same. And then what you're going to do is you can just kind of pull this back a bit and that's going to pop out. And once that pops out, you can just go ahead and pull that off. And then what you can do is just pull that all the way back and there's usually a place to lock that to lock that in place back there. Now I've never had this thing spring on me but uh, you know I'd be very careful not to let that um, spring forward and, and you know either hit you with some grease or catch your fingers. So then what you're gonna do is just go ahead and take your grease and take off take off this cap right here and you know when I was younger there were a few times that I tried to put the metal end in first and it's not going to fit so if you're, if you're trying to get the grease in someday and going nuts trying to get it in you actually want to put the end without the cap into the gun first slide that all the way down and then what you're going to do once you get it in there is go ahead and pull that off Okay, so then we're going to screw this back on, but we're not going to screw it super tight yet. Okay, so it's not super tight. Now there's a catch on this lever. You want to make sure this lever is on the catch, so if you push on this, it doesn't move forward. Okay, and you're just going to try to push that and get rid of any air pockets in the grease. Now if things are going well, you can just twist this lever a little bit and it'll go all the way in. And then you can tighten things up and everything's going to work. It usually if, if things are going well, it's just going to take maybe five pumps. There we go, to get the grease, to get the grease coming out. So we got it right that time. Now what happens to me, and it's usually, there's a correlation between how big a rush you're in and how often things go wrong. So pretty much assume that if you really need to get the machine going and you want to put some grease on it before you start, something's going to happen. But sometimes I will pump this gun like 30 times and no grease will come out. And there's usually some kind of an air bubble in there somewhere. And if that's the case, what you're going to want to do is pull back on this lever Loosen this up. Don't take this off, but loosen it up a little bit and then lock it in place and push it forward because you might have an air bubble in there or something. So you're going to push it forward, lock it up, and then pump it again. And sometimes that's all it takes to get rid of that air bubble. But again, usually that happens. The more tired you are and the more in a rush you are, the more you'll notice problems happen. And it could just be that we're so tired they don't bother us when we're not tired, but when you know, we're in a rush or tired, it's more noticeable. But that's the brief description of how to load a grease gun. It's really not a big deal. You know, just take it a step at a time and everything should go fine. Thanks for watching today, folks.